Now, something that confused me when I first got this VW ID3 was there's two driving modes on the gear selector that say D and B. And I was, you know, really a bit sort of confused as to what what should I be using here, D or B, you know? Um, and so what it was is that D is apparently for drive, and B is for braking, and by braking, what they're really saying is about regenerative braking. So when you've got it in B, what will happen is when you take your foot off the accelerator, it just slows down a little. It's not very aggressive, like I've had other cars, other electric cars, where the regenerative braking is actually quite a lot harsher, like a Tesla Model S, um, that's pretty harsh, and then a Tesla Model 3, not too bad, but more harsh than this. But what that does is then replenish the power in the battery. So it's charging it up as you're um, braking or as the car's slowing down using the auto braking that is on B mode on the selector. But then the other mode um, first weirded me out because when I first used it, when I first jumped in this VW ID3 and actually drove it after having had a Tesla for, for two years, um, basically uh, it felt really weird a little bit scary because in D mode the car just kind of rolls so you'll it's just like being in neutral in a petrol car um, and just gliding along and so you'll you'll drive and then you'll just keep going and it feels like someone else is driving almost because like almost like they've got their foot in the accelerator and that takes a little while to get used to the car takes forever to slow down um, but then when you brake again, when you manually brake with the brake pedal, it will then um, add power back into the battery and, and recharge it. So from my sort of learnings online, which was pretty limited, but ultimately, apparently, uh, D is more fuel efficient than B. So there you go. So I actually switched to start using D, even though I wasn't that keen on it and I preferred using the B mode um, and I have gotten used to it and what's quite good about it is when it detects something in front what it will do is it will slow down for you anyway so if there's another car in front or you're even coming up to a roundabout it knows and rather than letting you glide like a maniac straight into the roundabout what will happen is it will just slow the car down and a little symbol comes up on the dashboard that says, you know, hey, slow down and, and shows a little brake pedal and it shows a picture of a roundabout. So there's a lot of safety features in this car and, uh, and actually one of them is that I'm fighting with right now because it drives me a little bit nuts is the auto steer. It tries to keep you in a lane. So if you cross over, I'm on a country road at the moment in the middle of nowhere, I mean, it's trying to turn the wheel for me, which is really annoying. And I must try and figure out how to switch that off permanently because it drives me mad. But anyway, that was just a quick video about the Volkswagen ID3 and the two modes that you have of driving this car, which is D and B, D being just normal drive and B being the regenerative braking mode. All right, uh, by the way, if you want to like and subscribe to this video, that'd be really cool, very helpful for me. And also, um, how did I get this car? Well, the way that I got this car, I didn't buy it, I didn't lease it, and um, basically I got it through On2, and there's a link underneath if you want to find out more about them. It's a car subscription company, so instead of actually buying the car, uh, committing to a three-year lease, getting finance or whatever, all of that stuff, all you do is pay them every month. And if you don't want the car, give it back. It's a simple month-to-month -month rolling contract, which I really like, very flexible way of owning this car. And in fact, they've probably got about another 12 to 15 other types of car as well. And there's a voucher code underneath this video, coupon code you can use that will get you 50 pounds off your first subscription. So uh, use that because it gets you 50 pounds off your first month and me 50 pounds off a month. So everyone's a winner basically. But they've got loads of different cars from Volkswagen ups to uh, Audi e-trons to all electric. They only deal in electric on two. And uh, yeah, you need to get registered with them and just buy it like that. That way you'll pay, for example, with this car, it's 589 pounds a month, but no deposit, 
no anything you just pay up front for one month and and then give it back if you don't want it so it's a really flexible way of owning or running the car because you don't own it you run in the car and it's the future to be honest with you I think a lot of people will start doing this there's other companies that do it too I think um, Kazoo do it as well now they've started doing subscriptions Volvo have started doing just subscriptions but if you want a variety of different cars and only to have them on a month by month basis on two could be a really good option for you and as I say there's a discount code underneath all right that's it it's just a, just just me giving my opinions I'm an ordinary guy I'm not a professional car reviewer or anything so uh, sorry for rambling if I did all right take care and have a great day